Unfortunately, we'll have to leave this sport to at least for now because Valen has got much urgent news. Ve, it's over to you. All right, the aircraft you're seeing there, the one that will be taking on the Khao train as we speak. Valen Kirtley tweeting to us a little bit earlier saying, Major General Payne, and yeah, no, no relative of mine, is flying the Alouette 2 that is racing the Khao train with Leanne Manis aboard. Uh, Valen saying that on paper, the chopper should win. However, it is not as simple as that because you never know uh, what will happen in terms of the wind direction, etc. And we did speak to Phil a little bit earlier uh, and wanted to know from him if there'll be any uh, hampering there. Well, it looks all clear. Remember, this is the 95th anniversary and we are the second biggest air force in the world. And this is all marking that and bringing you attention to that information. Leanne Manis is in the Khao train. Very difficult to see at the moment as they maneuver from station to station and sometimes being underground and sometimes going through tunnels. Uh, very difficult to get a hold of her now. But what a beautiful skyline, don't you think? Look at the luscious trees from up ahead there. Vision a little bit blurry for you, but can be expected from live television, especially from all the way up there. Valen Kirtley is in one of the choppers that's actually watching uh, the main um, helicopter that is taking place there. It looks a little bit like a very tricky chopper. I'm not sure if you saw it. It, it, it looks a little bit, shall we say, unconventional. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bit choppy and a little bit scary. I'm not sure if I'd be brave enough to go in there. But yeah, looking at the, uh, the skyline over Pretoria there. And some of the buildings as uh, we wake up to these scenes and these visuals. And some people, I swear, are braver than others. Because how you can want to be driving that and uh, really driving and uh, racing up against the car train. That's not for the faint-hearted. But yeah, if you were placing your bet, where would you put your money? On the chopper, on the car train, which is your bet. The Alouette 2, uh, that's what's racing uh, the Khao train. Leanne Manis on the Khao train, Vail and Kirtley up in the sky, keeping an eye on. The Alouette must be uh, honest. So she's uh, not inside it, and she's not on top either. She's, she's next to it uh, in a separate chopper. Let me remind you, this is happening live as we speak. The race is on. It may look a little bit slow because of uh, some of the visuals there, but it's a race that's expected to last at least seven minutes. Well, that race from Pretoria to Centurion is already about three and a half, almost four minutes in. Leanne Mann is joking that uh, we're pulling a top gear on Morning Live. And, oh, yeah, I think the sisters could definitely give the Top Gear guys a run for their money. But I wonder whether or not the ladies would want to actually uh, put their hands on the steering wheel and drive the Khao train and the chopper. Wouldn't that be something, eh? Wouldn't that be something? All right, now we're getting unconfirmed reports at the moment, but what we can tell from the information we're receiving is that if I had placed my money on the car train, I would have been a winner. I could have been maybe, I don't know, maybe I would have put 100 rand could have been 100 rand richer. But I do believe the Khao train may have already arrived. Don't quote me on that. I'll verify it uh, in just a moment. All right, your tweets coming in fast and furious, almost as fast as the chopper and the car train. Uh, we got a tweet here saying, this is exciting. As exciting as this race may be, is it really safe though? Matole Losoba, I'm not sure. I'm not very sure. Look at the lush trees. Matole uh, saying, all I see is grey shame. But I can see Ayanda trying hard to keep the conversation going. I am trying, but Leanne is going to take over from here. Leanne, hello again to you. 
All right, Ayanda, we have started. So we just left Pretoria now and uh, we've got the Alouette right next to us. But I believe you've got better visuals than I've got. But I'm just looking out the side of the plane. I don't think uh, the train. I don't think it's on this side. I think it may be on the other side. There it is. Someone's pointing it out to me. So the race has begun. We have got one problem. We are going on an uphill. And uh, of course, a helicopter is not going on an uphill. It's going straight. So we have to see if we can do this. We're going to hit. 160 k's an hour when we get to the top speed so it's a seven minute ride between the uh, pretoria station and the centurion station and that's where we are headed to so we can see how we're doing uh Vaila, i can imagine is having a good view of us i'm looking out of the window over here we don't want to move the camera around too much because as you can imagine it just interferes with the satellite and we don't want to lose you during this race right now uh, what's happening is all of this is Oi, all right, that was to be expected, that break in transmission there. It must be an area that is perhaps in, uh, you know, far view from our uh, site there when it comes to uh, all the technology that is needed to bring you this live broadcast. But there's the aerial view of where Leanne is. And she is in that car train and that is making its way uh, to Centurion now. And there's the chopper, you know, it's neck on neck at the moment. It, it, it actually is too difficult to tell. There's the tunnel. See, I said to you that when we go through uh, tunnels and we go underground, it's, it's quite difficult to uh, receive reception there from Leanne. But yo, this is neck on neck. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, Datar saying on Twitter, my money is not on Leanne Manor. So uh, Datar, they're rooting for the aircraft. Sipo Kaleni is the one actually who had said as exciting as this race may be. The question is, is it safe? All right, that's a good question, but I'm sure all precaution has been taken to make sure that it is. Otherwise, no one would want to do it live on television. And then Molefe Elliot B says, I'm with the Khao train team on this one. All right. Okay. And then Mulebo Kheng also putting the money on Khao Deng. Saying, morning, Ayanda. I put my money on the Khao train. All right. We are going to lose a little bit of signal from Leanne as we go through the tunnels there. But Hosea is also one that is uh, tweeting. But Hosea is not only watching it on TV. He says, I can see the chopper from my window in Pretoria. And he, he's shown us a picture as well there. So yeah, you are definitely right. And I can see that is the right one. And then uh, R.I.P. Meh um, saying, wow, morning live SABC. What's going on here? The race. Valen will win the race. Lol. Uh, you know, I wish Valen was actually driving that aircraft or was the pilot because they can do a mean, mean, mean race. I, I, I get it. You know, I think she would be great at that. But she's not inside that actual chopper that you're seeing. She's on the one that's taking visuals of it. So the reason why we have the visuals you're seeing there is because Valen is with the team that's on the um, in the helicopter that's taking the visuals of all of this. Alright, the Khao train disappeared. There it is again. Guys, this is too tight to call right now. Hey, it's extremely nerve-wracking. Now I know I can't be a sports commentator. Alright, the chopper seems to be lagging behind. The chopper seems to be lagging behind. Leanne, Good morning to you once again. I'm hoping that we can hear you a bit better. There was a little bit of break in transmission a bit earlier. But you know what? You have a lot of support on Twitter. And uh, yes. you seem to be uh, beating the chopper at the moment. We are. I, can you hear me, Ayanda? I sure can. Okay, good. We've now just switched. Buttons. I can actually get you from the phone. But from what I'm seeing, it certainly looks like we are beating this helicopter. We've got it uh, for my right-hand side. We're trying to get the picture out from the house right here. But I think you're seeing it from the helicopter that we are definitely seeing them. So we've got Puma and the LOF 2 right next to one another. And I don't know, but it's, for me, it certainly looks like the, the car train is winning. This is our bullet, my sister, who's going fast. I mean, obviously, it took a while because we were on an uphill. And I spoke to the driver. The driver said to me, we will start off quite slowly. But once we sort of reach the flat, then we are fine, then we will fly ahead. But we really are. I can actually see the alouette beginning to shake now. Um, you and me both, Ayanda, cannot be commentators, really. <laughs> the last thing in my life I thought I was going to wake up and commentate a race between a helicopter and a train. But uh, we're doing it, so I'm just telling you what I can see. It's a beautiful orange, that's what I can tell you, the alouette. But it doesn't look like we're coming into the station and I can officially declare 
Okay, we got here first. There you go, Ayanda. We won. You see, I always like to back a winner. I was in the car train. We won. That's awesome news. Awesome news. So there you go. Who would have thought the car train faster than helicopters? So if you want to get to work fast, here is the drill. It's much cheaper to buy a car train ticket than to buy yourself a helicopter. Congratulations, Leanne, to you. This is our very own Mayweather Pacquiao type setup. Eh? It was just as exciting for me. Only, uh, you know, a Pacquiao lost in that particular race or match, and I would have wanted him to win. But this time, my team won. So that's a very great consolation for me. The Gautring having arrived first. I think I was right. I was right from the onset. I, I put my money, or I should have put my money on the culture. And I was just a bit nervous with my hundred rand day because we just had payday, and the next payday is a while away. But I think your bet you lot on I must go and bet on the lotter because I was right on this. A lot of people are coming through. Data saying, mm, "Yo, this is great." And then we have um, Data also saying he knew that the culture was going to win. He should have bet one million rand. He would be very, very rich. Uh, where was your money, Phil?